Hi everybody, Andy here with eTrailer.com and today we're going to take a look at this Greystone electric fireplace. Now this electric fireplace with the simulated crystals is going to give your RV a, a homey look and feel while at the same time letting you stay warm. The flame and crystal effect, as you can see here, uh, can be used with or without heat. So what that means for you is you're going to be able to enjoy the comforting effects of a fireplace all year round. Now let's take a closer look at this fireplace together and go over some of the features that this has to offer. This, um, the, the functions of this fireplace can be accessed in two ways. First, we have this touchpad up here in the corner of this fireplace. It's going to allow you to access all those features. Now, I don't have a really good camera angle on that. So uh, on your screen, I do have a photo of a similar uh, fireplace and uh, you have a nice clear view of the buttons there that is going to allow you to control this unit. And just going over those buttons, uh, uh, beginning with the far right is our power button, and then moving towards the left, we next have our flame button, and then the ember button there in the middle, and then the uh, heat button, and then finally the timer button on the far left. So you do have the uh, option to use the touchpad, but we also have this included remote control that's going to allow you to use your fireplace at a distance and all of the functions uh, will be accessible to you via that multifunction remote. So as you can see, I have our fireplace turned on already. And when I press the power button up here, that's going to turn it off immediately. And then to turn it back on, you just hit that button again and uh, we are in business. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and turn the lights off here in my studio, so hopefully you'll get a better uh, idea of the colors uh, that the, the, the LED flames and these embers have. So right now, as you can see, we have um, a mix of an orange and a blue flame with orange embers, and with the flames, you do have four color options. So this is our first option here with the mixture of the orange and blue. And you probably can't see this from that distance, but there's a little indicator here that says F1. So F1 is the mix of the orange and blue fl uh, flame. And then when I hit our flame button to F2, we go just to orange, as you can see there. And then moving to F3, then we have a blue flame option. And then finally moving to F4, that's going to cycle from orange to blue and then a mixture of orange and blue. So I'm gonna allow some time there just to go through. And as you can see, that mixture there for our fourth option. Now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, go back to the first option there, the mixture of the orange and blue. And then moving to our embers here. This is our first option, uh, orange, as indicated by L1 here on our little um, digital display. And then L2 is a, a blue color option for our uh, crystals. And then moving this to L3 is a white option. And then finally, L4 is going to cycle from green to blue and then to white. And I'll let that cycle through there for you. There you go. So then I'm just gonna move this back to the first option for our crystals back to orange. So this is going to be very easy to operate and to choose the best color option for you um, that uh, you find best, depending on what kind of mood you're in. Next, we have our heat button. So for that, I'm gonna turn our lights back on. And uh, when you press down on our heat button, it will start with a low setting. And of course, that heat comes out uh, right here and immediately it feels nice and warm. And then when you press it again, that's going to take you to a higher setting. So it's uh, going to make your room a little bit warmer uh, at a faster pace. And uh, if you long press the heat button for three seconds, that's going to allow you to change the temperature from 62 degrees to 82 degrees in two degree increments. 
And if you set the temperature of the fireplace in that way, that's going to automatically heat up according to the environment temperature. Now the um, BTUs at the low setting, and I'll go back to the low setting here, is uh, 2,650 BTUs, and at the high setting, it's 5,300 BTUs. And the heating output is up to 1,500 watts. So we have it on low, and then high, and then when you see the two zeros there, that means that it's off. And it is going to blow just a little bit when you turn it off to expel that residual heat. And then finally, we have our timer button, and that's going to let you cycle. And again, you might not be able to see that, but that's going to let you cycle uh, from the lowest is 30 minutes all the way up to nine hours, and then that will uh, turn off after the desired setting. So some overall measurements for you so you can be confident that this is going to work for you. Looking at the overall dimensions first, the overall width, we are sitting right at 28 and 3 8 inches wide. The overall height, we are sitting at 21 and 3 8 inches tall. And then the overall depth from here to here, we are sitting right at about five and a half inches deep. Now let me turn this, uh, rotate this uh, to the rear here so you can see this a little bit more. Measuring the cutout, which is going to, going to be an important measurement for you. The width of the cutout, we are sitting right at 26 and a quarter inches wide. And then the height, we are sitting right at 20 and a half inches tall. And then the depth, we are sitting right at five and three eighths inches deep. Now I do want to point out that this fireplace does feature a zero clearance safety technology. And what that means for you is with the advanced zero clearance safety sensor, if there is something covering or closing the vents, after about 20 seconds, the fireplace will switch off power automatically. To get the fireplace to come back on, you're just going to pull the plug out of uh, plug the pull the plug out of the outlet, let the fireplace cool down for about three minutes, plug it back in, and then the fireplace will work as normal. This glass front with this black trim is going to give you a really nice, sleek, modern look. This is a, a durable metal construction, and this is going to withstand vibration and extreme temperatures that's associated with RV travel, and this is also CSA standard certified. So this is going to be a flush mount installation. The hardware is included. To um, install this, you are just going to remove this trim and then mount it with the hardware and then replace the trim and an instruction manual is also included to go in a, in a little more in depth uh, with the features and to walk you through the insulation process as well. Well, that's gonna conclude our brief look today. I do hope that it was helpful for you. Again, my name is Andy. Thank you for joining me.